And in Bayelsa, consultants, house officers and core doctors are now fully in charge of health services to patients as the resident doctor's strike enters day three at the Federal Medical Center, Yenagua. Well, the public relations officer, FMC Yenagua, Akbedi Bernard, says the decision became ex expedient as the welfare of patients is of great importance to the medical center. TVC News correspondent Ovietime George has the details. The Federal Medical Center, Yenagoa, is a shadow of itself. Some wards look empty, creating the impression that patients may have left even before the strike commenced. Onini Ibimobowe Nathan defends the action of the Association of Resident Doctors at the Federal Medical Center, Yenagoa. Doctors also are human beings. Doctors also have families. Doctors also go to uh, the market that the common man also goes to. I have children that will pay school fees, even though I took an oath to save lives. Part of that oath is that you should first do no harm. So on that note, it is better I withdraw services for the benefit of both the patient and myself. Just one person in the accident, an emergency unit, four children in the children's ward, and perhaps more patients in wards where we were denied access. The FMC Yenagoa Public Relations Officer at BD Bernard says there is no cause for alarm. Our patients are still very intact. Uh, we have our consultants, uh, the house officers, as well as their core doctors working. And so. Uh, there's no issue of a uh, discharge of patients and all of that. We are still working very effectively. We cannot overwork those that are already on ground too. Uh, we just hope that uh, you know, uh, the federal government and the resident doctors you know, resolve the issues on ground and then they need to come back to work. Nigerians expect the Association of Resident Doctors and the federal government to explore every means of dialogue to end the industrial action. Of Yetime George, TVC News, Yenagoa, by Elsa State.